everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marilee and today we are doing Make a Bag Monday number nine, which is crazy. So as usual, I'm gonna start with what I had in Make a Bag Monday eight, go over the products, um, tell you what I thought about them, and then introduce you to the new products that I'm using. If you haven't already, please subscribe and let's get started. So Make a Bag Monday 8 was dominated by the Dominique Cosmetics Transition Palette. I used this for the first time this past week and I love it. They've just restocked. I think that restock is live. This is a palette that I, of all of my palettes, it's phenomenal. I mean, I, I love my other palettes, but this is phenomenal and I'm gonna tell you why. This one palette does your entire face and I mean all of it. I did my brows, the powder under my eye, bronzer, highlight, blush, eyeshadow, eyeliner, everything. And so every morning that I use this, I got ready so quickly and I couldn't believe how quickly I got ready um, to do the, I'm sorry for the mirror, hi. Um, to do the liner, I would wet my brush. To do the brows, I would mix um, some colors. It took uh, you know a couple days just to figure out which shades worked best on me, which ones I used as bronzers and which ones I used as blushes, but I loved it. Um, it's an all matte uh, palette. The pans are quite large so I could fit bigger brushes in them. I had no problem with that and I just love it. I highly, highly recommend this. Great, love it. So then everything else was just kind of like, you know, accoutrements to that. For foundation, I had two foundations that I was testing and I made a decision on one of them. One is the Revlon um, Color Stay Light Cover Foundation. I really do like this. This one's a tiny bit pink on me. What I, I realized that yesterday actually when I wore it again. Um, but I really like the finish of this. It had a really nice, it, it it's called a natural finish and I would agree. It wore very well throughout the week. I have been quarantined for the past lots of days. My husband and daughter both had COVID, thankfully very mild cases and they're both totally fine. And the three, myself, my other daughter and my son did not get it. <clears throat> How it works, I don't know. But anyway, so I didn't have a mask on this week so I can't speak to its lasting power. In that regard, I didn't like put it through the paces. You know, we weren't like going on runs and stuff because it's still winter here. But I did really like this foundation. The shade I have is, nobody knows, 220 Natural Beige. It, it literally, you know, it says that right there, right in the front. So helpful. Anyway, so I think this is a little bit too pink on me, like I said, but I did really like this. And I think with a little bit of my Cover FX drops, it will work perfectly. The Sephora Best Skin Ever, I have this in the shade 22P. This is a much better color match for me, but I will tell you, these are very similar to one another and so similar that I'm gonna return this. Um, I don't need both. They both had light coverage, but I would say light to medium. It was enough coverage for me. Um, they both wore very well. They were comfortable. This one, the Best Skin Ever, I don't believe has an SPF. And the Revlon one has an SPF 35, but you don't use enough to get an SPF 35. So always be, you know, kind of aware of the SPF and the fact that it's not true SPF. Uh, you should use it separately. But I did like this. I, I would recommend it. It's great. But if there's a drugstore alternative, you know, maybe we should get that. It's just the shade difference. So this one is much better for me. For primer all week, I had a plethora and then I pulled one more. So I was using the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enrich um, is there vitamin C? Yeah, there's shea butter, vitamin C, and E in this. I really, really like this. Highly recommend. Um, it smells great. It, I just love it. And then I was also pairing that with the e.l.f. Um, oil Control Primer Mist. I really like this. I would, I would spray it either in my hand or on my sponge because the sprayer is a little bit strong. Um, and I would just dab that in my T-zone and then use this everywhere else. And then I did pull my Hard Candy um, Smoothing Primer. I love this. Uh, I I think I almost wanna put this in every bag because it can just smooth pour. It gives a really nice, easy base. Um, I hope they still sell this. I got this at Walmart. For powder this week, I didn't really need it, but I did have my, um, what is this? The Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. Again, this is a powder I like to keep just around. So it's one that I, I'm just not gonna talk about anymore. I love it, go get it. It's really inexpensive, it's fabulous, but I, I'm just gonna keep it in all my bags. Okay, and then for concealer, I actually was testing out a couple of them. So the It um, 
Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer. I have it in two shades just because each shade is a little bit off. Light Nude is a little bit light and Medium is a little bit deep, but I do love these. I like to pat them out with my finger. They work very well with using the setting, um, one of the eyeshadows from the Transition Palette. I really liked that. And I really did love the um, Josie Marin Concealer. So this is Stick like crayon concealer. Um, we, this is not expired. It's my mom's, so it's really old, but doesn't smell yet. And you can tell with Josie Marin's products when they expire. Um, this is in light N1. I thought the color was great. Um, it's so easy to use and it lasts forever. And I remember at one point, um, people were getting these in deeper shades to contour with. I really do like this formula. So, um, you know, this is one that I'd like to at one point get my own because it is my mom's. Occasionally with the eyeshadow look when I was looking for a little bit of shine, I did use the Kitten Shimmer and Glow Liquid um, Eyeshadow from Stila. I did, I do really like this. And this is an easy thing to throw into your makeup bag at when you just want a little bit of shimmer. I enjoyed this very much. All week I also used the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Luminous Light. I would use this as a highlight or just overall on my face if I felt like it was a little bit too matte and I really did enjoy this. These powders are really beautiful, but I always get the mini sizes. I've never gone through this, so I don't think I will. Okay, two more things for eyes. So the Bobbi Brown Eyeliner, the Gel Liner, um, I love it. It's absolutely great. And then the ABH double-ended brow stick. I use this for the uh, light inner corner, I mean an inner rim, but I also use the highlighting end, the more shimmery end for in my inner corner and for my brow bone and stuff like that. This is just a great pencil to have. And again, it's one that I just want to keep consistently with my makeup bag. Then mascara this week. So I use the Pat McGrath Fetish Eyes all week. This is the mascara that in the past, especially when I wore a mask, ran on me, but I did not have that experience at all this week. So I think that's a product of wearing a mask, not a product of this mascara. So I did really enjoy this this week. And then for lips, um, I had some lipsticks like Joy in this makeup bag. They just crapped in. So I had originally said I was going to be using these two lipsticks from KVD or Kat Von D at the time that I bought them, Lolita and Lovecraft. I think I called this Cathedral the first time, but Lolita and Lovecraft, they're great. I did wear them a couple times. Um, I didn't end up using the Manic lipstick from Urban Decay, which is this um, very pretty red shade, but it's a little bit too creamy. And in the middle or towards the end of the week, was it Thursday? Um, Wednesday or Thursday, I got my Bite Beauty lipsticks that I made with my sister. If you haven't seen that video, I just posted it on Friday. I'll link it down below, but it's also on my channel. Uh, we made lipsticks at the Bite Beauty Lip Lab, a virtual um, session. It was so great. Love these two shades. So I was really using them once that. I think that was like Wednesday. So Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I was focusing on these. And then another lip cheating moment. I'm going to do a whole video on these because I actually picked up more. These are the L'Oreal, um, I don't know what they're called. I don't think they're called the L'Oreal Lip Color. I don't think that's the name of it, but I'll find the name. The color that I have is Discovered. I cannot believe how much I love these, but like I said, look for a future video. I'm going to tell you all about it, but this did sneak into my, my little makeup bag as well. And then two other things that I had, I think I used this like once, it is the um, Charlotte Tilbury Swish Cheek to Cheek in Walk of No Shame. I really love this. Um, I thought I was going to use it more just because I had such a matte look, but I ended up loving that transition palette so much. So this is one that I'll pull into a bag later, um, but it's a beautiful shade and I, I love that it's a little bit glowy. And then I used the, I guess there's three things, the Fenty Glow Bomb, the um, Glossy Bomb, the, what are these called? Merrily, get it together. Yes. The Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb, I had it in Baby Brett, and I did enjoy this. And I occasionally use the Pillow Talk um, Lip Liner. I have it in Pillow Talk 2 Medium, which I really do enjoy. So I would tell you that this Makeup Bag 8 was one of my favorites. I really loved everything. The only thing that was a little bit negative was that this foundation was a little bit pink. And I'm returning this just because... Um, these are so, so similar to each other. So I'm not going to reach for this when I have this one at such a better price. Although, were they really a better price? I got to do some research because this, well, I got this at CVS with all of my extra care bucks. So yes, I did. I do think I got this at a better price. I might test it one more time just to make sure that this with the cover effects works well. Um, 
If it doesn't, then I may have to keep this, but I still recommend this. This was great. And now on to makeup bag in number nine. Makeup bag number nine is a big one. Okay, I, I don't know. I just went through my collection and kept pulling stuff. So let's start with the palettes. I have four. Why? Because I have these Natasha Denona five pan palettes and I can't just pick one for the whole week. So let me show you the ones that I have and uh, why I pulled them. Uh, so number one, this is the Cranberry palette. Got this on stupid sale uh, at Sephora one year. This is the one I'm using on my eyes today. Love it. Then I have the Peak palette. I got this from a BoxyCharm, BoxyCharm November. Really great uh, really would be a great fall palette. I guess that's why they put it in November. Beautiful. Then I have the Camel palette. This is probably my least favorite of Natasha Denona's palettes. Um, my sister somehow got a duplicate, um, so I got it. I didn't have to pay for it. But um, this shade that I want to be so wonderful, it's just, it's just like, look, it's just whatever. I don't even have my ring light on. What's wrong with me? I turned the ring light on. Anyway, so this shade I was showing you, it's just not so impressive. So this will be good for transition shades, but it's not one of my favorites. And then this, I picked up a couple things from the BoxyCharm pop-up sale and all of them are in this makeup bag. So this was one. This is, I don't have anything like this from Natasha Denona. This is the Eyeshadow Palette 5. I don't get a name on this one, but all of these cool like blues, a little bit of like um, sea foamy blue and this beautiful shade. So I think these will be fun to kind of play with, but they, they are certainly like different looks in a palette. So that's why I picked all of them. To continue with the Natasha Denona um, kind of theme, this is also from the BoxyCharm sale. This is the Diamond and Blush palette. I got this because during um, when they released the mini love palette uh, in February, they had a um, cheek and uh, a blush and highlight duo. And it is in this palette. And this palette was less expensive than that at BoxyCharm. It was amazing. So you're not in BoxyCharm. It, you know, sometimes I debate whether getting a monthly BoxyCharm is a smart idea because you're getting makeup that you don't need slash didn't ask for, but the pop-up sales are unbelievable. Okay, so anyway, so this has six shades, super reflective packaging. Sorry, like this, it works. So some on the top are cream, and then these are powders at the bottom. Um, I'm super excited to use this. I did use this. I used the highlight today on this one. Then another thing that I picked up in that sale was the Kosas um, Color and Light Cream. This is an eighth muse. Um, I think when I got it, I mean, I like deep blushes. It's the blush that I'm using today. I like deep blushes, but I didn't realize that the highlight would be deep as well, obviously. So um, this I used, I put a little bit of the diamond um, blood, um, highlight on top. I did use this. These are both cream products. I think I will get a lot of use, especially mixing the two together to make kind of more of a glowy blush. I don't think I can really use this highlight totally on its own for me. Um, my lights are so bright, but um, it's very pink. So I think I'll use it more as a as a blush topper, but this was fun to use this morning. I will tell you, this is like a very, um, the Honest Beauty blushes, cream blushes are emollient. So you'd like put it and you could feel it like spreading on your face. This one was, I don't want to call it a cream to powder, but it like where I put it, it wanted, like it did blend easily, but it like had a little bit more grip to it, which I think will aid in its lasting power. So I'll report back, especially next week about that. All right, sticking with the colors of the face, I'm just gonna use the Butter Bronzer. I have this in the shade Deep Bronzer. It's a bronzer I'm using today, so I'm gonna give this a try. It is very, very fragrant. It was sitting on my table here, just like open, and I, I couldn't believe how fragrant it is. I don't love that, that particular scent. It's nice, it's fine, but I don't love it. And then for foundation this week and concealer. So I did a little switch of like makeup I wasn't using, like gently used makeup with um, a friend of mine, uh, mine on Instagram. And she sent me this one. This is the Skin to Die For Matte, Mineral Matte CC Cream from Peter Thomas Roth. I used this today. It seemed like it was gonna be too light. It's in the shade light. I don't think it's too light when you're looking at me now. Um, and when I look at myself, it's maybe a hair too light, but nothing major. I can't believe how well this worked today. I'll give you my full rundown next week, but it like filled in all my pores. It does give a nice matte finish. 
Um, I'm impressed with this. So I just used it once though. So let me calm down. And then I also grabbed the Fit Me Matte and Poreless um, foundation. I have it in 115 ivory. This is another one that may be too light, but I, I can adjust it with some bronzer and stuff. But I haven't used this in a long time. I want to see what I think about it. For concealer, I grabbed the Juvia's Place Concealer in 19. I did have to set it a little bit. It did creep into my fine lines, but you know when there's canyons, water's gonna go into them, and so will foundation. Mm -hmm. And then I also grabbed the Maybelline Agent um, Instant Age Rewind. I have it in the shade light. So using these, this one is more like an everyday, like a uh, light, lighter formula concealer, although it still does a great job. And this one is a little bit more, more similar to Shape Tape, like it's full coverage. Then a few other things. Oops, I forgot to tell you about my primer. So this is a Tatcha Liquid Canvas Primer. I got this, it's a small one. Um, we'll see how it works. And then I grabbed the Boot 7. I always do that. Why do I keep showing it to you? Anyway, the Boot 7 um, Triple Action Translucent Finishing Powder in light. I use this to set my under eyes. I like to use it wet, uh, not just straight with a brush. Then the last couple pro products, I feel like I've been speaking forever. So I grabbed the Roller Lash. Again, this is a mini and this one is almost dried out. I do think it makes my lashes look very nice. Um, so I do like this. I think it's only going to last for this um, makeup bag and then I'll need to toss it. I also grabbed the ColourPop Eyeliner. This is in Piggy Bank, I believe. It's what I'm using to tight line. Um, this is fun. You know, I was... I had the shirt on and I wanted to use this. <laughs> this is pretty much what happened there. Uh, for brows, I got this in my last FabFitFun box. It's the Winky Lux um, Ultra Brow, Ultimate Brow, Unibrow. <laughs> it's called the Unibrow. Is it really the name? It's called the Unibrow. And it's in the Universal Brow Pencil shade. So I use this in my brows. It was really easy to use and pretty quick. I liked that today. And then I have the Makeup Revolution Renaissance Flick um, Liquid Liner. So this one, I sometimes, I still debate this one. Um, I loved it in the past, but it almost seems too wet now, um, which isn't possible. Like you can't, like they're supposed to dry up, not get wetter but whatever I used it it does make a really solid black line I'm just I'm really testing this one out again for myself and then for lips sticking with gloss I have the lifter gloss from Maybelline in petal and then I did when I was hauling things with my sister grab the another flower beauty petal pout lip mask and this one is in the shade sangria it's what I'm using on my lips it's very light even though when you look at it here it looks straight up like it's gonna be like a deep purple but it's not it's just simple. And there you go. So that is makeup bag number nine. I will report back next week after I use this for a whole week and make sure to follow me on Instagram for the daily look. So I will show you what this looks like on my face in natural light um, each day so you can kind of see how it's working for me. I hope everyone has a wonderful day and a wonderful week and I will see you soon. P.S. Don't forget to come back. I have been posting for the last actual eight weeks on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So come back for some future content. Have a great day.